Today we're going to talk about the Boogie Boo Buffalo, which is our favorite stroller of all time. It was uh, sadly discontinued last year, but it was around for about five years and really redefined luxury and size and uh, drivability, at least here in Norway. Uh, it's uh, what I like to call a Cadillac stroller, meaning that it has swivel front wheels, a reversible seat, and a larger than average frame. And if you're looking for that sort of stroller, uh, and intending to buy used, then this is definitely the number one model that I would look for, uh, provided that you check a few things and make sure it's in good condition. Uh, it's very, very well constructed. Uh, unlike the partner stroller, the Boogie Boo Donkey that came out at the same time, uh, it has weathered the, the years a lot better. Uh, you see a lot fewer weaknesses than you do with the Donkey. Uh, before I get into it and go over the stroller top to bottom, telling you which parts of this are well constructed and uh, why it is a good stroller to buy use, if you're looking for this sort of stroller. And I wanted to give you a few statistics. So the weight of this stroller is just a little bit under 12 kilos. Uh, the weight limit is 23 kilos spread between the seat and the underslung shopping basket. It's 17 in the seat. Uh, and when you fold it all together, uh, its size dimensions are 89 centimeters by 53 by 33 centimeters. A few notes on comfort, uh, both for you and your child. So both the bag and the seat have a good length, a good width, uh, they're made of quality textiles. It's going to be very large and luxurious. Uh, in relation to you using the stroller, uh, this stroller is the best of its class. Again, meaning that Cadillac type stroller on terrain that we've seen, uh, both in terms of strollers that have come before and have come after it. Uh, it performs almost as well as a dedicated sports stroller uh, when we're talking about taking it out on terrain. Uh, it also is quite easy to fold, has very intuitive mechanisms. It's easy to swap from the bag to the seat, something we can't say about the Fox that uh, has come out after it. Uh, easy to take off the textiles and wash them. And um, in terms of its size, uh, if you have a very small car, then uh, it's not gonna be for you. But uh, as far as larger type strollers are concerned, it does fold down relatively flat, especially because it has the hammock style uh, for the seat or the bag. So you can get it in a mid-sized car. Um, maintenance is also very, very easy on this stroller. Uh, it has foam-filled tires, unlike the donkey, so you're not gonna need to pump them. Uh, the uh, lubrication of the stroller, is uh, quite easy and uh, you don't need to do that much lubrication. A little bit of silicone spray doesn't really hurt, but unlike a lot of strollers with front swivel wheels, you're not going to need to worry so much about lubricating that mechanism to avoid wobbly wheel problems. So what is it that makes the Buffalo such a well-constructed stroller? Well, to start with, if you'll remember, the Buffalo came out at the same time as the Donkey, and both of them are constructed in much the same way. Uh, with a lot of the parts are actually compatible between the Donkey and the Buffalo. Now the donkey is designed to take two children as well as some added weight in the shopping basket underneath. And what this means for the buffalo is that the overall construction and the parts used uh, in the buffalo uh, are really designed to take a larger weight limit than what Bookboo might advertise for the stroller itself. Looking at it from the top, the handle and the arms uh, have this telescopic setup, which means that you don't have any sort of mechanisms higher up. Uh, for moving the handle up and down, which can weaken and loosen. The central locking mechanism is just about the best central locking mechanism that Boogaboo ever designed, uh, with the exception of the runner. Uh, the reason for this is that there are very, very many points where the discs are gripped towards each other. It has a large gear wheel, which means that there are several points going around all in a circle inside that mechanism that hold all of those discs tightly together. Now, of course, if you have some severe weight misuse, you do sometimes have some problems uh, with the central mechanism, and we have other videos that deal uh, with those sort of problems. But in general, it's incredibly well constructed and designed to handle uh, weight that uh, exceeds what one might expect for a single child stroller. Swivel wheels, front wheels on strollers, are often a common area of problems. And uh, again, the Buffalo really excels in its designs here. Uh, both the lock mechanism, which is very large and tight and well constructed, I have never seen that wear down or break in relation to how it fits into the fork. And more importantly, uh, the way the fork locks itself into the front swivel wheel. So there is a suspension disc that presses down on the fork, and this is really the reason why you don't have to worry about using special lubricants in order to avoid uh, wobbly wheel syndrome, as we call it, which means that when you go too fast, because the front area has worn down over time, the wheels will begin to wobble. This is one of those things you just naturally do not have to worry about with the Buffalo, simply as a result of design.
The brake system is also quite well designed. There are no wires. It involves just a bar that runs through the center of the back frame. Uh, it's very simple and elegant and another one of those areas that we really don't have uh, any problems with. Um, requires a little bit of lubrication in order to uh, keep it moving smoothly, but it's very well designed. Uh, if we just did a video recently on the Boogaboo Fox, and if you'll look at that video, you'll see that they've gone over towards this sort of micro complexity, uh, whereas the Buffalo was kind of a pinnacle of brake design for Boogaboo. Uh, very simple, very reliable. We've been getting these uh, strollers into the workshop now for, what, 2013 the Buffalo came out, and there are really only a couple of problems that uh, tend to occur. Um, so uh, I guess I can cover those first, since those are things you would want to look for when buying this used, although we also have a separate used buyer's guide uh, for the Boogaboo Buffalo that you would want to check out. But the two key things that we've seen over the last uh, five or six years are that these struts for the seat sometimes break. Uh, usually that's a result of bad baggage handling in airports or accidents. They are sturdy, uh, but of course they are made of plastic and they can break. Uh, the second is that through severe weight misuse, you can wind up with problems on the discs between the rear frame and the front frame. So you do want to check that it is sturdy, that the rear frame does not press in too much towards the front frame, that there is resistance on both sides. And uh, the same the opposite direction as well, that the uh, stroller is not going to collapse downwards. Beyond those two things, there are really no regular problems that occur with this stroller, uh, simply because it's been designed so sturdily. So in any case, uh, that is our review on the Boogaboo Buffalo. Uh, we wanted to make this review even though the Boogaboo Buffalo has gone off the market because it really is uh, our favorite stroller and it is kind of sad that it's gone. Uh, there are a couple of things you want to look at if you are going to purchase this used and we have a separate uh, used buyer's guide uh, which you can find on our channel. Uh, in any case, we hope that you found this video interesting and if you did, we ask that you subscribe as it helps us continue making videos in the future. Thank you.